Hello, everyone, and welcome to Watch Boy. My name is Brian Fector, and today I will be demonstrating the low volatility ranking filter inside of our fund screener. As mentioned previously, you can access our filters by pressing all filters or quick filters in the top left hand corner. Rankings can be found towards the bottom of the middle of the list. And if you press on rankings or the plus icon, the various ranking categories are expanded. Now we've done a whole video on the rankings categories as a whole. And if you haven't watched that, I highly recommend you do. But today we wanted to take a second to discuss the low volatility filter. So we calculate our volatility on a decile basis, just like the other rankings. And we're doing this over a 20 day period. So if you're looking to see the most volatile funds, it would be one through five. If you're looking to see the least volatile funds, it would be eight through 10. Six and seven kind of fall into the median range. So let's see this filter in action. Let's say that you wanted to look at equity ETFs that are trading in the United States. And of those ETFs, let's say you wanted to focus specifically on large cap equities. So that brings us from the entire ETF universe of about 13,000 funds to 1,300, which is fantastic. And as we know, equities are some of the more volatile funds and large cap equities in particular can be extremely volatile. So in today's day and age, it is very important to see which funds out of any search that you're doing have the least amount of volatility. So for this example, let's see of these 1300 funds were the least volatile. We'll drag our slider from one all the way up to nine, and we'll go from 1300 down to 17 funds that have had the least amount of volatility over the past 20 days that fall into the category of a U.S large cap equity ETF. Now you can then utilize our other views to compare different metrics of these funds, such as returns. You can look at risk. Any of the preset views or any custom view that you have created can then be utilized to help dive down a little bit further. And then you can take a couple of funds that you are interested in pop them into our compare or side-by-side -side tool for a deeper dive between the two. So this was an example of how to utilize the low volatility ranking filter inside of our fund screener tool. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to a member of the Logically team. We can be reached via email at support at thinklogically.com. We're looking forward to connecting with you. And as always, think logically.